Well, good morning, Church of the Savior. You all settle down a little bit, okay? It's getting entirely too raucous in here. Come on. Good morning, Church of the Savior. And let me just say as we begin this morning, we just want to wish all you mothers happy Mother's Day. Y'all give them a round of encouragement. Thank you, mothers. We love you. Welcome to those of you watching online and in our simulcast cafe. If you would, please stand as you're able, and we'll begin with opening with prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you are and all that you have done for us. We love you so very much. Be blessed and be glorified today. Lord, inhabit our praises and fill this place with your presence today. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, they did. Amen. Thank you, Lord. shake and crumble at your name the oceans roar and tumble at your name angels will bow the earth will rejoice your people This 
is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Blessed assurance, Jesus is
Give him praise, won't you? <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are amazing. We love you so very much. We just want to pause for a moment now and open up our hearts, God, and listen for anything you might have. I believe the Lord has told me that there is someone in the sound of my voice who is full of fear and anxiety today. You really need that blessed assurance. And the Lord would also ask me to remind you of this promise in Isaiah 26. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Father, we pray that you would help us in times of anxiety when the world around us tries to press us in and when doubts and fears, when pressures mount so high, help us to keep our mind stayed on you, our thoughts on your gracious love, our hearts on the power that you have for your children. Help us, O oh God, to trust in you when the times are rough and full of anxiety. Help us to remember that you have a plan for our lives. It is a good plan. It is a wonderful plan. And no matter what the world tells us, what the enemy tempts us with, your goodness is great. Your plan is good. And Lord Jesus, may we always trust in you to walk each day with us. to surround us with your love, to guard us with your angels, to speak to us by your Spirit. And so for all these promises, we praise you. Our hearts are full of gratitude. Our minds are stayed upon your goodness. And we praise you in your name, in that blessed name of Jesus. In that precious name we pray, amen. Please be seated. Welcome once again to our Becoming Your Mom support group. This is a special day for us. It's our one year anniversary. Congratulations to all of you who are getting your 12 month pens. Richard, why don't you read what it says there? Uh, okay, it says, <laughs> our mission statement. We love our moms, but we are not our moms. Let's all say that together. We love our moms, but we are not our moms. Progress reports. Who'd like to share? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel. Hi, Hi Rachel. Rachel. I am very excited to share that I have not posted a picture of my food on Instagram in over three weeks. Oh, thanks. I am now limiting myself to only four coupons per shopping trip. Oh, and I've stopped referring to every cashier as honey or sweetie. Let me tell you, that is a struggle. Yeah, I started buying my own napkins instead of taking them from restaurants. Oh, Shannon's going to be late. And she sent me a text with 16 different emojis. 16? Okay, well, we'll discuss that later. I anyone else? Okay, well, what things are still giving you difficulty? Whenever I'm in a vehicle and the driver pushes the brakes, I always grab the dashboard like we're gonna die or something. I stay up at night worrying about whether my friends are taking all their vitamins. I daydream about having just five minutes to myself. Don't you live alone? 
Yeah, it's weird, right? Sometimes I still ask my friends if they have to go potty. They're all adults. I put up shelves just so I can put little knickknacks on them. Hi, sorry I had to drop my sister off at dance and then I had to bring the dog to the groomer, which is right before my voice lesson, and then I had a meeting. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Who can tell me? What was Shannon's mistake? Overbooking. She overbooked. Too many activities. <sighs> right. So even though you're still working through some of these things, it just shows that your mom is part of who you are. And that includes all of their love, their devotion, the heart of God that now lives in you. And remember, you can still be hip and cool. I even started playing that video game, Fork Knife. Uh, Fork Knife? I think you mean... Is that some kind of culinary game? Oh, the one where you crush all the candy. How does this always happen? Carol, just a reminder, there's no dancing during group time. But why? Because I said so, that's why. Hello everyone, my name is Glenn, and I'm not my mom. <laughs> Good morning to you. Welcome to Church of the Savior. Uh, if you're a first time guest worshiping with us, welcome. We're glad you're here. We'd like to uh, let you know that we've got this connect card. If you would give us some information about yourself, we'd appreciate it. You can turn it in at the guest services desk. And we have a small gift for you there, this little booklet from Randy Alcorn. Okay, well, I've got three quick announcements. First of all, happy Mother's Day to you ladies who are mothers here. Okay. Yep. And secondly, everybody know what this is? It's a baby bottle. If you go out in the foyer, there's a bunch of these. Grab some, grab one, fill it up with change, cash, checks. Um, we're, this goes to help assurance and help with, uh, well, it's in the bulletin here. You need to read, I got to get myself organized here, don't I? So what does a baby blessing bottle do? It shares Christ's love, mercy, and truth with those facing unplanned pregnancies. And there's some other things that it lists. We've done this for several years and uh, uh, Church of the Savior has always been a good donor for helping assurance ministry. I want to encourage you to do that. Second is the uh, baptism service. We're having one next Sunday. It'll be in the student center, which is the former worship center that we used. And uh, that's at 1230 right after the second service. Thirdly is membership 201. If you want to learn more about the church, then we encourage you to register on your Connect card and make sure that you let us know if you need child care. Again, next Sunday at 5 p.m. Okay, next it says hand off your mic to Steve. There you go. Here he is. <laughs> you have your own mic. Uh, if you like sharing the gospel and want to learn to do it, we still have one more day. You can register to work in these four local jails or prisons. These jails have invited Christians to come, and it's hard to get Christians to do it. It's June 8th. You got to do training night the night before. There's about 30 of us from our church that have signed up. If you want to do it, go out to the foyer. There's a sheet and some people. All you got to do is call the number. You can call the number in Texas and register online. I think they want a $25 donation, dollar donation to help with the ministry. Okay? Sound good? Okay. Let's everybody stand to well, your feet. No, no, no. You've got you to hold on just a minute because this yep. is a special day for a whole different reason that you all may not know about. But if I could just get answers on the screen, third grade level. Okay? This guy right here. I thought we could all maybe stand and just sing a little special song for him. It doesn't have any dirty words. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
Happy birthday, Pastor Steve, the big kahuna, the captain of the ship. Happy birthday to you. The big guy, the big man on campus. I'm going to pray real quick for him. Stretch out your hands. Lord, we love Steve. We thank you for the many years that he's served here as our senior pastor. Lord, he inspires us to want to follow you and to serve you, Lord. And uh, he has been the captain of this ship under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we thank you for that. Bless him, Lord. Give him many more years and continue to use him to uh, help people find you as Savior and Lord. And bless him today as he preaches. In the name of Jesus, amen. All stand or if we're standing, turn to your neighbor and find out who they are and say, it's great to see you. Give her mercy. 